My name is Christine Handy. I had a very strong modeling career. I had done international campaigns for a lot of companies worldwide. I had done a lot of modeling in my 20s and 30s. And a lot of people looked at those pictures, I'm sure, and said, that Christine Handy, she has everything. Look how happy she is. She has the perfect life. But you know what? I look back on that life and I wasn't so happy. I was trying to live up to those pictures. I was trying to be that person that was in the picture behind the camera. I was trying to be the perfect wife, the perfect yogi, the perfect friend. And I was not succeeding. It's unfulfilling and it's impossible. But unfortunately, my whole self-worth and my self-esteem from a young age was about what I looked like. It wasn't about the who. It was about the what, not about the who. Willow Adair, who's the main character, is me. Willow's struggles are my struggles. But I'm certain Willow's struggles are a lot of your struggles. Self-esteem issues, insecurity, fears, worries. That's a picture of me in 2006. That was two weeks before my first trauma for my colon resection. The doctor had said to me, this will be a typical non-invasive, not a big deal surgery. I woke up in the recovery room with a blood bag hanging over my head and a port in my neck. October 1st was the day that my life changed forever. It was a Monday morning when they called me with the news. I had seen the breast specialist the Wednesday before, but I had had a year of trauma prior to that, so my brain was kind of going in circles. I was home alone when I actually got the call. When I heard the phone ring, I panicked because there was nobody else home. I walked over to the phone, shaking, I picked it up with my left hand. I heard the voice of the doctor, the breast specialist himself, not a nurse to tell me everything was going to be okay. I realized what he was telling me, although I couldn't hear a word he was saying. I asked that man one question, am I going to die? He never answered. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I didn't that day decide to take my life. But within the first couple weeks, I decided that I would plot my suicide. I couldn't imagine going through 28 rounds of chemo and relying on the very people that took care of me for the entire year. My friends were tired, my family was tired, I was exhausted, and my mind was in the wrong place. I really thought, really logically thought, that I would be doing my family and my friends a favor if I took myself out. These women stepped into my life and stepped up to love me when I could not love myself. My friends came up, they showed up at my house, and they taught me that my life was worth saving, that they would never forsake me, that none of them would leave my side, and that I would get through this, and I believed them. My husband had to take care of our kids. I couldn't take care of myself. My friends had families of their own. They had health issues of their own to contend with. But these women and my family, they showed up for me. Even though they struggled to watch, they heaved. It was difficult for them to see me suffer. They kept showing up. And that gave me encouragement. In the last five years, I've had 28 rounds of chemotherapy, 17 non-elective surgeries, a port, a pick line, and multiple drains hanging from many different places in my body. There were so many mornings when I did not think that I would wake up to see the next day. Eventually, I would lose my looks and my perfect little family, and I realized I had to change inside what was going on. Who was Christine? inside the shell because I didn't know the obsession with my appearance well that that went out the window my self-esteem was not based on what I look like anymore the real friendship and the real gift became the love that I was receiving and the love that I was able to give those women and my family carried me for five straight years it's not about me it's about people uniting coming together to form one body so I'm standing here in front of you today as living proof that you can go through so much darkness into so much light. We have a choice. We have a choice to make purpose in pain and don't let the pain overtake you. So we have to have the courage to say goodbye to yesterday and have the courage to say hello. From the new Unstoppable Christine Handy, I greet you with hello. My name is Christine Handy and I am a cancer survivor, but I'm so much more than that.